Hey guys, Rodolfo Gutierrez here with Go Engineer. I am a tech support engineer, and I recently had a case in where an engineer needed to convert a weldment part to an assembly. The reason behind this was because he needed to run a macro to auto assign part numbers uh, of all of his components in his design. So he came to me and said, hey, look, but I have a weldment that I need to convert over, over to an assembly file. Can this be done? And I said, absolutely, yes, we need to do this using the split feature. So the first step is to create a new folder and copy that part file to that folder. So I already have my new folder created and I already have this part file open that I'm going to convert to an assembly. So I'll do a file, save as. I like to save it as a copy. Tech support. Choose my new folder location. And I'm going to rename it. All right. Save as, copy, and open. Hit save. And now we're working with our new part file in our new folder location. All right, so now the second step is to insert a split feature. So we'll go to Insert, Features, Split. All right, once the Split Property Manager pops up, it's going to automatically light up for you to ex uh, select a trimming surface. So for this, you can select any surface and then go ahead and select, make sure all bodies are selected as your target bodies and cut all bodies. Okay, what this does is that you can see I have a cut list item, a cut list of 56 items. And what you notice down here is that there are 56 bodies that it found because I have 56 cut list items that's going to convert into part files. Okay, now here you can auto assign names. So if you select this, it just goes from body one to body 56. Or you can double click and then give it a part number for each individual one. Okay. All right. And then you can even copy the cut list properties of each cut list item into the new part. All right. And then here, just make sure you have a part template selected. So this is step number two. Once you hit split, what it's going to do is it's going to take each one of those bodies and create a part file out of it. Okay. Now, depending on the file size, this might take a little bit. I have 56 items, so it takes just uh, just a little bit. So I'm going to pause the video until this finishes processing. Okay, so that took a little bit over a minute for me. Now, if you go to the folder location, you'll notice that now I have a total of 56 part files. So what it did is it exported each one of those cut list items or bodies and created a part file out of it. Okay, so that was, that's, that's what the process was. Now, if you go back to your original part file, you'll see that there is nothing here. So don't worry. It's not that you lost all of your, like this part file is toasted. It's not. It's just that there's a split uh, feature now in your design tree, which takes all of those bodies and exports them over to part files. So now the third step is uh, what you want to do is you want to right click on the split feature in your design tree and create assembly. It uh, in the create assembly property manager, it's se we're selecting that split command in the assembly file. We need to click on browse, and we need to give it a file name. So bunk bed assembly. This is where you select the new folder path, if you choose to do so. If not, just go ahead and hit save and then go ahead and accept create assembly. And there you go. This is a an assembly file with all of your 56 cutlass items all fixed. So this has been a video on how to convert a weldment into an assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Rodolfo Gutierrez with Go Engineer. Thanks. Mm -hmm.